So, so a routine one would they they'd go into their sheds and be prescribed for them. They would undertake a we'd like them to weigh in and wear a heart rate monitor um, and give us a bit of an indication about how they feel. Are they motivated towards it? Did they get good sleep? You know, just some of the parameters that help us put a bit of context to how their performance might go. Then we give them a, a free 20 minute period to warm up to whatever they feel comfortable with so that they would get on um, at the start of the 30 minute test and feel comfortable to do it. One of the things I do prescribe to them in their warm up is to do a one to two minute block solid state at the pace that they think they should be able to hold just to get a feel and it also primes the system really well. Most people for um, an effort duration of 30 minutes would under prepare in their warm up um, and, and therefore the first 10 minutes will feel easy and then after that it won't feel, won't feel comfortable at all. Um, it should be a threshold effort and so 30 minutes of threshold, that's not uncommon. They'll do that in training. But to get their head around doing that as a single block on an ergometer is something that you know, they, need to, they need to practice a couple of times and become familiar with and understand that actually it's not too hard. The other thing, you won't get a good score if you rate 24. You need to be prepared to rate 28 to 30 um, on a fixed ergometer to be able to get a reasonable score. Anything under that, you're most likely going to be hauling on it too much and that's not the way to do it. The way to do it is to sit on top of the rate and be nice and free and easy and efficient with your movements um, and, and try and just be nice and solid in your pacing. Um, people talk about, can I negative split it? Can I, how do I go about it? Even split all the way through. We say, get onto your pace and sit on your pace. Now, if you, if you get to the 15 minute mark and you think you've got a little, when you up the pace, it only needs to be a few watts or, or half a split point or something along that line it, because you're right on the red line. It doesn't take much. You've got a finite little bit of energy over that threshold mark to be able to hold it. So the reason why we analyze um, the heart rate and the power from minute 10 to minute 25 is we know full well that people might overpace in the first 10 minutes and they might be able to have a little bit of energy left, but they would never go out with seven minutes to go and start winding to the, to the finish. So we know that the values that we get between minute 10 and minute 25 are representative of what their threshold ability to sit at a set rate, set power, um, and their heart rate will be in response to that. Um, so their warm up would probably just include uh, a chunk of five minutes at rate 20, uh, maybe a step to 24 for another five minutes. And then I would actually get them to do um, a couple of one to two minute pieces at rate 28 to 30. And if they are not breathing heavy, and if they are not feeling as though I've overdone this in the warm up, then they probably actually haven't done the warm up all that well. Then have a period where they get back down to rate 20 and recover, hop off, do some stretching, maybe taking a little bit more uh, fluid because you're gonna be 30 minutes without drinking, um, and then get themselves into the place where they're comfortable to, you know, to hurt for a little bit of time. And, um, and then get on the air, get it set, and go.